as you can see is real and is behind the black felt and it doesn't get burned all right we're here at the land showcase 2019 and it's day number two it's a little bit rainy today but we're hoping for clear skies later and uh, meanwhile we've come inside to look at a product that you may not find this so important, but you should. And I think you'll see why, because there's some good visuals to follow here. My name's Dan Johnson, and I'm talking to Mark Harper, who, tell me what you do here, and then tell me a little bit about the company in Italy that has originated the products we're gonna look at, Mark. Sure, Dan. So, um, I have a company called HHR Performance, and we brought Technofibra in for our uh, purpose in the motorcycle industry. And it relates over to the aviation industry now. What the product is is a heat shield material. Um, we use it in the in the motorcycle industry for our uh, carbon fiber bodywork to protect that from hot exhaust systems. We also have a, an application that is to uh, protect the heat or sorry the uh, fuel systems. So a lot of guys are using race fuel in in our mo motorcycle racing uh, industry. And so what happens is the, the heat from the engine will heat the fuel up and you'll start to lose performance. So halfway through the race, it's noted that, you know, there's a, a bit of a performance drop off. So we have the same material on the underside of the fuel tanks. And that, that basically is for a heat uh, shield protection. Uh, you can use it to protect battery systems, uh, coolant systems, uh, oil lines. There's a, a big variety of that kind of stuff. So. Technofibra is made in Italy. I went out, found these guys, uh, did the tour of the factory. They do a lot of tests, a lot of really cool tests. One of them we'll show you later on. Um, it's a really good product. They're using Formula One, uh, obviously to keep the drivers safe. They don't want that car catching fire. You've seen in Formula One, uh, NASCAR, those guys are locked into those things uh, pretty, pretty well. So it's a big safety thing. So it just makes sense. In the aviation industry, they've found a, a purpose for it with the firewall materials. Uh, it's, it's something we want to show you guys, and I think you'll be impressed. Okay, so you started out with motorcycles, and some people, these are all aviation people that are watching, and they're going to go, well, uh, that's fine. I like motorcycles, but I want to hear about airplanes. Well, understand, this. Both, both have an engine that makes heat. Both have fuel that... You don't want problems with that. All of them have some kind of wiring that you don't want a problem with. You want to isolate the occupant, motorcycle or race car driver, or pilot and occupants from the firewall. So really, there's a very direct relationship with these two. And when I first heard about it, I went, okay, fire retardant material, that's interesting. But there's a lot more to it than that. And one thing you didn't mention, which is noise suppression. So let's look into this a little bit. First of all, I'm going to hold up something, or I'm going to give it to you and hold it up. Here's your, you know, you can imagine, folks, that this is your firewall right here. I mean, here's all the openings that you might have for your wires or other devices or whatnot. But here's your firewall, and you're sitting on one side of this, and your engine develops a fire or something bad happens. God forbid, but it does happen. And you don't want to be there if that's the case. So you can keep the fire on one side and not the other. And I'm guessing some people will say, well, yeah, I've seen this before. Yes, maybe you have, but I'll bet you it's not the same as this because there are other materials that look the same that are not the same. Am I right with those statements? Absolutely, yeah. This is, uh, this is a material that I had come across that I was, you know, totally shocked. I was like, wow, this, this is not seen out there. Um, and motorcycles, aviation, engines are engines. They have coolant lines. They have, uh, you know, they have uh, oil lines. It's it's a uh, something that can catch fire. On a motorcycle, you can jump off it. In a plane, you need to contain that. You can't have it getting into your cockpit. So this would actually go on the engine side of the firewall. So you'd be sitting in the cockpit. This is on the in the engine bay, and this is going to contain the heat, not only the fire, but the heat, so you can land the plane and get out of danger. Now, I have to admit, it looks unusual. It looks unlikely. I mean, it's just some material. Okay, so it's magic material somehow. But it's also, uh, that is, I don't know, a pound or two pounds maybe? I mean, this is, there's no weight to this at all. You can see me flipping it around easily. It's also soft. I mean, I can fold it. It looks like it's unbelievable that it can do all what it can do. So I was not so sure. Now we're going to give you some demonstrations. But before we start some demonstrations, let's look at some other ways you can do things. I'm going to give you a few of your products here. 
tell me what what these little tubes are for. Oh, the, yeah. <laughs> so the, the tubes were, are uh, um, an idea to be able to sheath any cables, any um, electrical uh, components, and uh, oil lines. So they come in different thicknesses. There is a, if you want to grab one of those on the table, yep, right there. <clears throat> so you can actually, you can actually disassemble and put these on at the time of assembly of the engine you know these are pre pre glued yeah these are these are already made tubes there yeah. there's nothing to assemble here so you have to route wires or things through them first right exactly however if you what if you've already got an airplane now and you don't want to take everything apart to do that because taking everything apart means you may not get it back together right and now you've got a problem you introduced while you tried to solve another problem right exactly so they come up with a, a product that you can cut to size, and then you can actually wrap the cables, peel back the, uh, the strip, and glue it to itself. And this is a way that you can do it on, a, on a, an engine where you don't have to take anything apart. So you can measure it, cut it to what you need, and apply it. And that's the same, same solution at the end of the day, same product. You could use this, all, you could use this in, in many different applications, I'm thinking, and I want to hold this up edgewise to the camera. I mean, there's, there's no thickness there to I mean, this is almost nothing. It seems like, how can that do anything? Again, we're going to show you, but it does look kind of unbelievable. So you've got that, and then you've got just cloth now. So this is the, the magic behind it. This is the carbon cloth. Again, so thin. You're going to see a demonstration in a second, and look, you can almost see through it. So, Yeah, this is, uh, you know, this is the, the material. It comes in different thicknesses, but we're going to show you with a thinner piece, you know, in my hand. Uh, just how we can uh, hit it with a uh, propane torch and uh, yeah you'll be amazed like I was and I don't want to do it first but <laughs> I'm sure not I saw you do that and I went okay I'm gonna back away a little bit it's his hand but I'm not getting near that yeah I don't know where the medics are but uh, we won't need them so well and and another thing now I want to talk because I have this in my hand uh, there are there are uh, ceramic materials that might do some of the same good but handling them and cutting them very serious because you don't it's like fi rubbing fiberglass insulation on your arm your arm will itch for a week and it's not good ceramic materials are even worse this doesn't have that problem am i right mark exactly yeah most of the materials it well all the other materials you would use to do the similar job you would have to wear a lot of uh, protection uh you, you know respiratory uh big gloves uh, this stuff, it's non-toxic. When it burns, it's non-toxic, and you can you can hold this in your hand. You know, I don't think I'd want to wipe it around my face, but it, it's it's not toxic. And you can cut it with scissors. If it has the aluminum foil on it, it can be cut with scissors, or it can be cut with a uh, a blade. If we use our contact material, which has the the thicker aluminum, which can be in direct contact of an exhaust system, um, that can be cut with snips. It's it's super easy to cut and apply with the glue on this stuff. Uh, the glue uh, in a lot of other materials fails because it crystallizes. I was just going to ask that. Okay, glue, but I, I have things that it, I live down here in Florida. It gets hot, and I see glue just let's go. This is different glue, I guess. Absolutely, yeah. This glue is uh, tested to 220 degrees uh, Celsius. So the idea is <clears throat> it's never going to get that hot behind this because the material is that good. Ah, I see, sure. That the glue wouldn't. From the from the fire now you're talking about you know ambient heat uh, on metal uh, being in a hot climate the glue is never going to get hot enough to be able to to fail so let's look at some demonstrations mark all right sounds good so here we have the material behind the techno fibra on our uh, insulation material and we're going to hit it with a, a propane torch and my hand is right behind this so as you can see it can it does not catch fire so he's smoking a little bit but it this has been tested for you know 30 minutes with the flame now that's a hot flame i don't know what the temperature is but it's very hot and that's just your bare hand behind that no glove or anything exactly so if i take this away i'll show you So I can touch it. It's warm to touch, but it's not. It's, it's not, you know, uh, untouchable. I have it in my hands, and now it's dissipated, so it's it's cooled down already. So 
Amazing. That's an amazing demonstration. Okay, now we're going to shift gears a little bit. This is the same material that Mark has in his hands now. You can see the thickness there and what it is. Again, very light materials and not very big materials, quite thin, I mean. But let's look and see what this does from noise. Yeah, so what this material is going to do is um, it's going to deaden the noise uh, by at least half. So any, any noises you have in the cockpit, uh, typically coming from an uh, aluminum firewall, could be uh, a double firewall that it's just, it has a drumming sound to it, it kind of drive you crazy. By simply having the firewall in here, we're going to show you how it deadens that sound. We've got a bell rigged up that we're going to uh, use in this example, but this all could also can be used underneath the carpet on the sides of the aircraft. Uh, it will deaden the, the noise of the aircraft considerably. Okay, Mark is now going to show using this tube here which you can see has the material lining a uh, a plastic tube or something yeah, a, metal tube. a metal tube with the same material we just looked at wrapped around the inside of it and inside this you may not be able to see it down there but there's a noise maker it's going to make some noise so let's go ahead and hear what that's making in the way of sound now Okay, so there you heard what it is. Now, he, Mark is going to remove that material and we'll hear that sound again. I'm putting the microphone all the way down inside there. You almost can't hear that now, and it was demonstrably louder outside. So this is a material that can really do not just fire retardant stuff, but insulating the noise for the occupants of an aircraft as well, which is a problem in airplanes because you don't want a lot of heavy materials to try and knock down the noise. Airplanes are very sensitive about weight, as are race cars and racing motorcycles, I'm sure. Tell me a little bit more about what this could do for noise reduction as well, Mark. Absolutely, yeah. So this is gonna um, this is gonna make a drastic difference uh, in your cockpit. Um, this material, obviously, we, we experience a lot of people saying they don't want to add too much weight to their aircraft, but it really doesn't add that much weight. No, considering what other materials are there out there that you can use to do to get an effect the same, there really isn't that much out there. Uh, so, so this product doing two different things doing the noise absorption and obviously giving you a safety uh, element with fire prevention and protection. It's a no-brainer that you would want to spend a few hundred dollars to kit out your aircraft with uh, this type of safety and uh, noise uh, canceling uh, protection. Absolutely. I'm, I'm very impressed with this. Here's the company, uh, Technofibra. They're based in Italy. Uh, Mark is based in Idaho, so he's uh, ba he's uh, you can tell he's got that British accent, but he's he's been here a dozen years, and I heard him tell someone else he's losing that. But anyway, it's an American sourced product from Italy uh, for those that want this. And you know, I'm thinking of now a designer saying, okay, I'm going to build a new airplane, and you know what? I'd like to make it very quiet for people inside, and I want to protect them from fire. I could make it much quieter in the airplane and add very little weight and not too much cost. I'm not going to pin you down on this, but what would you say, you've seen these aircraft we have out here, these two-seat aircraft and whatnot. If you were going to try and insulate the blazes out of this, what kind of money would you have to spend on material? So, yeah, looking at the aircraft here today, from firewalls, you know, you're talking a couple hundred dollars for a firewall, which I feel is insignificant uh, uh, cost uh, compared to what, what else people are spending on these aircraft um, to do the... the sound absorbing uh, material in the inside you know I would say on a lot of these aircraft six seven hundred dollars you got the whole aircraft done Mark tell me how we find you on the web we'll put it up on the screen for people so give us both the Italian website and your website here in the USA please all right the best way to find it right now for the aviation side of things is going to be go to technofibra.it that's technofibra uh, Italy uh, we are working on a uh, U.S. website 
<coughs> currently we sell it through our uh, performance motorcycle website called hhrperformance.com so you can find some of the products on there but as far as firewall material you won't find the specific kits on there but you will find our contact information you can reach out to a sales at hhrperformance.com all right, Mark, thanks so much for talking to us about this very interesting fire protection, which is the really scary part. But you know what? Hearing loss is a big problem for a lot of pilots, so there's a double value here. Seems like it's worthwhile to f follow this. I didn't know anything about it before. You may not have either, either, folks, but now we know some more, and I think this is very interesting. You can find lots more about these products uh, that, these, that this material can be used on. I'm talking about affordable aviation of all kinds. That's available on buydanjohnson.com. Thanks for joining Mark Harper and myself here at DeLand Showcase 2019.